my former workplace here and they're definitely not gonna let me carry a nice big awesome mediocre amateur camera into the facility so I'm deciding to take my iPhone and the rest of the video inside this place will be on my iPhone because they won't say anything about that. Seriously? Seriously? Uh, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to regret it. Did you ever see the Batman movie with Bane in it? I was born in the darkness. And you can put that mask on whenever you want, whenever you want. Leaving Lifetime right now, heading back to the apartment to get some lunch. I know I said I was going home and I was gonna grab lunch real quick, but I decided to make a really fast stop by Best Buy to see just what they have on the shelves because a lot of new gear is coming out right now and I'm super excited. <laughs> didn't have any of the cool stuff in stock today, but they're gonna have it in the near future. Really excited. They didn't even have a display out for my drone that's coming in, hopefully this week or next week, which is the DJI Mavic Pro. You'll know when I have it. We're on the way to Dana Point right now, but first I wanna make a quick pit stop and show you guys something extra special. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see this? I actually haven't been in here. I was closed last time I tried to come. Cloud9 Bakery does gluten-free items, no vegan items at the moment, except for they have like some coconut and oat bars. And I just got a coconut macaroon where it just got gluten and egg in it. For those of you that know me, you know it's strange for me to eat sweet treats. I was talking to a client a few weeks ago and we were talking about their children who are raised on a very, very healthy diet, somewhat vegetarian, very low meat, but super healthy, hypoallergenic. So not a lot of allergies in their foods. She was telling me about when her daughter had a reaction to eating her friend's food at someone else's house, and how it was super, super extreme. And in another scenario, someone who had done the autoimmune protocol had actually developed severe issues because of eating, once again, not as healthy food. And we're not talking like Skittles, I'm talking like non-grass-fed beef or having like a cage-free egg. I mean like really healthy stuff to begin with. And then, you know, maybe like a organic Whole Foods Pop-Tart. And I started to wonder, at what point within being healthy do you lose the ability to eat normal people food when you want to on a social occasion? Where do you draw the line here where being healthy is actually inhibiting you from having good experiences, social experiences with your friends, and giving you enough energy to really get the most out of your life? And to be honest, I don't know where that line's gonna be for me, but I'm gonna play with it over the next couple months and figure out where I feel the best, where I can have some normal people food, go out, do social experiences. But with my experiment so far, I've already noticed a slight degradation in just my general energy and my mood. The question remains unanswered. Where do you draw the line between being healthy and being normal? Being low carb has had the biggest impact on my belly fat, my ability to sleep, and my general mood and energy levels throughout the day. So far, the jury's still out on this, but I would love to hear what's working for you guys in the comments. Heading back up to Irvine from Dana. Heading back up to Irvine from Dana. Heading back up to Irvine from Dana Point. <laughs> this road though, dude, it's so unstable. Heading back up to Irvine from Dana Point right now and gonna jog a little and then edit the vlog a little. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, Janos! Oh, Janos!